I didn't have a name for the spot. It was just Zach's random spot downtown. And uh, I, uh, word of mouth started to spread a bit where they sort of told other people that there was a spot in town. And to make a really long story short, uh, my phone started ringing off the hook and got a bunch of emails. Um, people were just desperate for a high quality professional studio in Rochester. <laughs> I'm Zach Zern, I'm owner of Carpet Blue Studios. I kind of fell in love with writing songs and manipulating audio at like a really young age. Podcasting, voiceover work, audio books, um, uh, audio mixing for like training videos, we do random stuff like that as well, but almost all of our work is working with either individual artists, bands, or ensembles. Everybody's in the same room making eye contact. There's bleed from the amp into the drum mics, and it's a super raw, organic, exciting, energetic feel. So that's really where like I love to record. Uh, we just did that even last week with Joel Ward, a local artist, and a really cool like reggae rock band. And it was a really cool vibe and energy that we, I'm confident we would not have been able to get if we would have tracked everything separately. For a young musician who wants to record these days, it's the most accessible time in like all of history. Emily Nelson, who goes by Veeld here in town, is a good example of like one of the maybe more extremes where we spent almost like an entire year on our first single. And she wasn't in every single day, but she came to us with the song in its very simple form. It was like a guitar part and a vocal part. I can give you suggestions all day, but if you have a very specific vision for your project, it is absolutely not my job to step on your toes, you know? So um, the artist gets the final say, which is so fun. So we're kind of the glue on the whole project, making everything cohesive. Mastering is the final process in any audio processing. Uh, it, it gets it up to industry standard volume so that when it's on a playlist on Spotify with something else, it's not going to be way quieter, which unmastered things are very quiet. And then you release it on Spotify and iTunes, print CDs if you want, work with marketing people like yourself that get it into the right hands and the right markets so people can enjoy the music. Now, shrunken heads for all occasions. Collect them, swap them, give them to your witch doctor friends. You can always cook up more with Pressman's Witch Doctor Head Shrinkers Kit. When we moved into this new space, we had much more grandiose like uh, ideas on what to do. But I was really nervous about losing that, that community role to provide an accessible and affordable spot for local musicians and beginner musicians. So in the new space, uh, we bought an old church and we're renovating it into a Studio A and a Studio B. The limited amount of inputs, maybe you know, a li limited amount of gear, um, but it's gonna be much more affordable and targeted towards, again, those uh, local and beginner musicians to provide them a space to still get great recording in like treated rooms and treated spaces with nice mics. We would love to be an art hub in general, more so than simply just music focus. And that'll absolutely be our first and primary focus, but um, the space is quite large, literally eight times the size of our previous space that we had downtown. Um, and so when anybody walks in, they'll be able to see like there's so much potential for what the space can be. So. If I tracked a stu uh, record at a studio, it's like a heart pouring out sort of process. And if I could bring my friends and family into that same space to then have a live show or at least a listen through or something, it'd be like a really cathartic experience. So we're excited to be able to provide that for people and as supporters of like the local arts and culture scene that we can be and that we really should be. I kind of see that as like a creed of ours. So I want to honor that and do all I can to support not just musicians, but visual artists, and performing arts in general. I love Minnesota. Yes.